Hello guys and welcome back. In this lesson I'm going to demonstrate how you can create a form for the reader or the author of your of this document. So basically that form will be or can be for anything you want. But first to create a form you need to go to your file over here or in other words the backstage of your word 2016. Go to options so the word can open the word options dialog box for you and then you need to navigate to the customize ribbon on your left navigational panel of your word options now over here you can see that the main tabs are insert out lightning background removal home insert design layout these all are present on your ribbon and one thing that is unchecked over here is the developers tab of on your ribbon and in order to create forms you need to check this box and once you click OK you notice that you get a developer tab on your Word 2016 ribbon as well so you need to go to developer and over here you have some sections the first one is code the second one is add-ins the third one is controls the fourth one is mapping similarly you have protect and templates so to create forms you will be working with the control controls group or section on your developers tab so let's go to the very bottom of your word document and let's ask them to please fill this form so please fill this form and let's give it a heading over here that get your gift delivered great let's fix spelling over here let's format this a little bit great so you need to fill this form in, a, uh, in order to get the, your gift delivered so first of all you need to write your name and then after you have written the name heading over here you need to go to your developer and you've got a couple of options over here so the first one is rich text content control plain text content control and some more options for example picture content control and this one is checkbox content control similarly you've got combo box drop down list you've got date picker and you've also got repeating section control and legacy tools so for your name you need to go to legacy tools over here and you can either select from the legacy forms or active x controls but for your name over here you need to select either from these rich text control or the plain text control so i'm going to go with plain text content control right now and you can see that you have this dialog box over here or which is click or tap here to enter text and remember that while creating a form it is good to be in design mode because this allows you to edit the properties of this rich content control text box as well so now you need to go to properties you can right click on this box over here go to properties or you can simply click properties over here it's the same thing so let's go to properties and it opens up the content control properties for you so you need to give the title over here let's give it name you can also give it a tag if you want but it's totally optional you need to show as a bounding box start and tang or none so let's go with bounding box you can choose the color what color do you want let's go with black Use style to format text type into the empty control. No, you don't want any style. Remove content control when contents are edited. So, do you want the writer to rem to remove the content control when contents are edited? If you want to, you can simply select this box. And there's a good feature over here, locking. And what you can do over here is you have two checkboxes. The first one is content control cannot be deleted and contents cannot be edited so this means if you select this another user or author cannot edit the properties of this name box over here so let's click OK over here 
and you can see that you get the name tag over here so once you're done with this let's go to the next option over here and let's write for example the location your what's your location great once you're done with what's your location heading over here you can now add the checkbox the combo box or the drop down list quadrant control so i'm going to go with drop down list over here let's right click go to properties and give it a title for example select your location great now once you're done with the title over here you have to add things to your drop down list and to add things to your drop down list you need to simply click add over here and then you need to add all the fields that you want to display inside your drop down menu so let's go with first is Chicago click OK and you notice that it is now added into your drop down list add another Wisconsin similarly Las Vegas and let's add over here you can go with Florida and so on so I have this these four fields over here and I'm just going to keep the the user restricted to these four cities or states over here then simply click OK and you get your select lo location tag great now let's go to the next line and ask for the date great now once you ask for the date over here now you need to go to the date picker content control in your control section you need to click this repeat the same steps right click go to properties or click properties from here give it a title date and then choose the format of the date what do you want for the user how he or she should enter the date should be month date or the year it sh he should write it in day month date and year and so on so let's go with the default format which is month date and year you want the locale to be english calendar type gregorian and you can also choose whether you want to store XML content in the following format when mapped, date and time, date, text, and etc. So let's go with date and time. And once you're done with this, you simply need to click OK. So great. Now you have added the name in your form, the location of the user in your form, and the date. What's the user will enter the date when he or she is ordering or the gift so once you're done with this you can also add checkboxes so for example let's say that in this week or let's delete this and write when do you want your gift so we are going to insert some options over here and those options will be urgent or after one week or after two weeks and they will be checkboxes so you need to go to let's say let's find the checkboxes over here and the checkboxes is right over here so checkbox content control you need to click checkbox content control first give it a name over here for example urgent let's remove this over here and simply go to the properties first so go to properties and you can then write urgent and you want a checked symbol or unchecked symbol the style of the check symbol you can change the styles and pick whatever you like and click OK so when you check a symbol the sign will be shown right what it's being displayed over here so click OK and you can see that you've got urgent and a checkbox over here similarly you can add another 
go to properties and then write after one week great click OK and boom you got another checkbox over here so let's now check your form whether it's okay or not so you need to go up out of design mode and you notice that we can enter the name we can enter choose the location and enter the date as well but in our checkboxes over here there is no text over here so you need to go to design mode again and give text over here you want it urgent or after one week great now once you're done with this now you can go out of design mode and then fill out your form so let's fill out your form over here let's give it a name for example Said Ali choose the location over here by your drop-down menu Wisconsin for example tap to enter your date and it gives you a whole calendar you see and it, the date will be in form of month date and then year so let's choose today's date 19 of March so it's 19 of March in 2017 and when do you want the gift whether it's urgent or after one week so you can see that how these checkboxes are being selected if you wanted one week you can simply check this box or if you want it urgent you can simply check this box check this box so I hope you learned how to create your form it's pretty straightforward very easy you just need to go to your file first go to word options over here go to customize ribbon and select this developers option over here and once you do this you will get a tab developer tab on your ribbon and then you need to work with the controls in order to create your form and all the controls will be right over here this will be the pink picture content control the checkbox content control the date content control the location content control drop down list content control and so on so you've got a lot of controls for your form so this is a very powerful and handy feature in word 2016 so i hope you like this i hope you understand keep practicing build two or three forms and post in the discussion tab so all of the other students can also see what you've been up to so Stay tuned, stay focused, and let's move to our next lesson.